CJ Faison, your subscribers have many questions, which is why they have contacted me to see what is going on with your farm, and perhaps I can give you some closure, some validation on everything that's going on. So here we go. don't know anything about me I'm Emily the fine art medium I'm a psychic medium who specializes in the paranormal and I help people get rid of hauntings and attachments and so on and so forth so hi <laughs> to preface this video I have no idea who you are and I'm sorry and the only reason why you are on my radar is because your subscribers reached out to me to see if I could answer any of your questions and any of their questions. And so I've decided to, you know, channel information. I have notes. I have pages of notes here of the stuff that I got through channeling. And like I said, I haven't watched a single one of your videos. And I want to give a shout out to Loren Franco. He sent me screenshots of like pictures of his farm and his farmhouse. So I was able to use those to channel in information. I'm going to relay the notes that I took. The ordering doesn't quite make sense only because, you know, when you're channeling information, things just come as they go and nothing's usually in order. But so I got a lot of images, just a lot of bits and pieces of things. And since I know nothing about CJ Faison, you guys, the subscribers, everyone watching, um, please validate if I got anything right. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't know anything about him. And I like to do it this way because I don't want my ego getting in the way and using, you know, information that I would have learned, you know, and then not knowing the difference between of me remembering or psychic information and so since I don't know anything about this person other than you know the things in the pictures that I had seen that's about it <laughs> that's about it so so this meditation I did I did it in chunks because the first chunk that I did this in I don't know what my deal was. Could it have been chronic illness? Could it have been astrology, planets being in weird places? Who knows? But the first day I struggled, not gonna lie. But then, you know, today I was able to go quickly with information and that's where I wrote a bunch of pages. But so the first thing that I noticed was the rainbow energy. When I closed my eyes, I just kept seeing rainbows, like rainbow flashes of light. And the last time I saw this was with Haley Reese. So that's very interesting. And I'm wondering if they are very similar in terms of like, she's a psychic medium, whether she knows it or not, I think she does. But I suspect CJ you might be going through an awakening soon, if not already in the process of, and I'm wondering if that's why I'm seeing this rainbow energy. Next thing, you have multiple spirits and entities at your location. So within the farmhouse itself and the land. The first thing I picked up was a male earthbound spirit. So, at first, he appeared as a humanoid shadow figure, but as, you know, time went on, I was able to see that he was an older man, I'm going to guess like 70s in age, short like gray-ish hair. He was wearing like, um, 
a long sleeve plaid flannel. It was like red, had some dark blues, maybe a hint of yellow or orange and like a cream color. And then he had on like, it was like these beige pants with like suspenders or they were overalls. I just remember seeing the like suspendery things. And then he had brown leather shoes. Um, I will say that there were plenty of animal elementals, which is good. You know, that's normal when you live in an area with a lot of like woods and like nature, you know, having animal elementals is normal. So, you know, I saw that I did speak to a few of them because I wanted to see from their perspective what they saw and what was going on. So I did speak to a squirrel spirit and a female deer. They did point out that in the woods there is a spider like entity there lurking around. Again, kind of normal. Um, I will say though you do have a big one in your house towards the basement area and then usually when you have a big one you're gonna have little ones so there's little spiders in the basement too and maybe and you know people can just be like oh well it's a farmhouse and you know it's in the middle of nowhere you're gonna have spiders maybe but i also saw like i don't know if you're having issues with bugs getting into that house but yeah, when I got to this point though, my inflammation in my bladder, you know, started to ramp up and typically when when I have my inflammation flare up like this during a channel, that tells me there's negative entities around. So, with that being said, I'm flipping to um, somebody I saw immediately right after. It was... The best way to describe her, she's like a wood nymph mixed with a fairy, mixed with like a guardian. I'm not quite sure what exactly the title of the type of being is, but she is someone that takes care of the nature in the area, area in the area, and there's two beings like this. And they're benevolent. So one has the blue hair, and I'm gonna put a picture somewhere here of the two like wood nymph fairy type beings that I saw but one had like blue hair and pink skin and her hair she had a ponytail and she had like little bubble like braids it was kind of cute not gonna lie again um I'll put pictures but she is a guardian over the area and her eyes were glowing I want to say they glowed like a yellow color it was actually really pretty and she had rainbow energy too so that's interesting and then the other one had you know a lot of hair and she had a green side braid and she definitely gave wood nymph vibes very benevolent very good to have in the area and it actually keeps things balanced within the ecosystem um, the farm seems like there wasn't much going on with it in terms of energy sources. So either it was abandoned for a period of time and or the previous energy source, AKA those that lived there previously, weren't enough energy for the negative entities that reside there. Because there are more lively people there the paranormal activity is going to ramp up. So you might be noticing paranormal activity, which your subscribers have, hence why I'm here. <laughs> but yes, and this is because they need an energetic response to feed off of. They need the energy source to exist. And the thing with these ones are, it is able to tap into the audience and feed off of their energy as well. So when you do your videos and you're posting it on YouTube, Instagram, where have you, um, when other people tap in, those entities are able to tap into their frequency and feed off of their reactions. Now, many entities can do this, especially in paranormal shows like Ghost Adventures, Ghost Hunters, things like that. 
Many of the entities do this. However, Spirit wanted to point this out specifically. Um, Spirit did tell me that acquiring this property was not an accident. Um, it was meant to happen for several reasons. One reason is because the energy tied to it kind of matches your energy in a way. There's multiple factors. That's just one piece of the puzzle or pie. Um, things went on there that either went on in your family line or with you. And that's part of the energy vibration match. Um, also, you are meant to have your spiritual awakening um, while investigating this place. Like, they're telling me that because of this place, you're going to get a lot of, like, um, activity caught on camera and pictures and things. And it's kind of going to, like, start this motion of you awakening, if that makes sense. Spirit also made clear to me that this male earthbound spirit needs crossed over. However, he's being a stubborn butthead because he's so like stuck in his ways, but also he's like, I don't want anybody messing up my farm. They have to do it right. And you know what? They ain't doing it right. So I'm going to be here and make sure it's done right. Yeah. He's tied to the farm, but you know, earthbound spirits. While again, I've said this in multiple videos, their intention isn't necessarily to start out negative. However, because they need that energy source, they start zapping those around the vicinity of their energy to fuel themselves. It's a defense mechanism, but also an instinctual mechanism and like a mode of survival mechanism. That's why it's always good to try to cross them over if possible. This is where I started to see more of what he looked like. Again, I already described him, but height wise, 5'8", 5'10", ish. So I see him with a scythe cutting down shrubbery and some overgrown weeds. He either lived there once or is part of the land. So I feel like because of how tidy is to that specific location, I feel like he was part of that house. He probably lived there at one time. I don't know how recent. I just, you know, that's what I got. I did start seeing tombstones. So either there are marked graves there that you know about or there are unmarked graves that you don't know about. However, regardless, there are people buried on that property. Um, I kept seeing a wooden fence, but I don't know the significance of that. The only thing I can think of is maybe the graves are located by a wooden fence or some wood of a fence from a while ago, or there's some piece of wood there that kind of like denotes the area. Um, children did live there at one point. Again, I don't know how recent because I was seeing the energetic imprint of like a toddler running around and crying and getting his butt whooped. Um, I did see a large dog looks like a German Shepherd, not necessarily sure if it was an actual German Shepherd or if Spirit was just showing me like um, the how big the dog was because sometimes they'll show me breeds of dogs to show like the size. So I did see that. It does visit the um, Earthbound Spirit male guy and so I'm wondering if it was his dog or the dog's just like, hey. Um, if you're hearing weird noises in the woods, it's the owls or an owl spirit is, I don't know if they pointed that out. They're like, um, those weird noises you're hearing are owls. And I was like, okay, well then here you go. Um, okay. One thing I noticed during this session, there was a lot of weird random burning sensations over my body. So at first I felt it here. Well, technically up here. Um, and then I would feel it on my other arm and then I would feel it in my back and then my, st a lot in the abdomen area. I was like the frig, 
but I got a lot of burning sensations all over my body. Um, I also had the feeling of shaky hands. Um, yeah. So I see an old man with a rake struggling to hold it because his hands are shaking. And then I heard man had addiction. And I don't, I'm not quite sure what kind of addiction. I'm thinking alcohol, but I'm not quite sure. And this is the tether here that um, this land, this house, this earthbound spirit has to CJ. I don't know, and it's not my business, and I don't know if he said it publicly on his channel or not, but somewhere in his family line or him, whomever, doesn't matter, has had an addiction or struggled with an addiction to either alcohol or some kind of substance. And that's where the energy parallel is because he's been around that energy and because he's experienced that energy and has trauma due to that. There's some trauma there too, but regardless, because he's experienced that energy one way or another, that's part of the energetic match. Again, not my business. I don't, it doesn't, yeah, anyway. I kept getting headaches. And a lot of times spirit will show me through how they feel how they died or things that were going on with them. And or I'll be picking it up from, you know, either the people that live there or CJ himself. So again, I don't know if he struggles with any of this or has in the past. Um, I'm seeing a shotgun leaning against a white or light colored wall. I see a man and it, I'm pretty sure it's the um, earth bound spirit showing me pieces of his life, but this man spent a great time alone. Um, then I start feeling like pain more so in my stomach area. So it starts on the right side and then it moves to the left and then back pain, mid back pain. That's not where my back pain is. So I know it's not coming from me. This person seemed to have a lot of health things going on, but ignored it. He ignored it because he either wanted to keep working and was afraid that if he stopped working, it would get worse or that he'd like not working and then be lazy and then you know but the other thing is i don't know if cj himself has any health issues hopefully he don't but if he does that could be another energy parallel to the farm again more burning sensations around my body um this man kept to himself mostly i i want to say something went on with his head or brain somebody's head or brain cj i don't know if it's you or the earth bound spirit but somebody had head and stomach issues also if you hear noises in the background it's raining really hard and it's hitting against my window so no it is not evps um also felt a strange pain going up my neck and it kind of like i don't know i've had this pain before and the best way to like describe it is like if I'm gonna have a stroke or an aneurysm, it would have this pain go up my no my neck. I don't know. Strange. Okay. I did start picking up a female woman who was older. She is of the light. And she's trying to get the earthbound male spirit to cross over. I feel like she's a family member. I don't know if she is his wife or mother. I just know it's a female figure of the light trying to get him to cross over and he's being a pain in the butt and, you know, just not having it. He's ignoring her, essentially. So she's got gray hair, more white than gray. She's heavy set, shorter than him, and has like shorter shoulder length hair. But it's kind of like, who? I don't know. But that's what I see there. And she's wearing like a Moo Moo nightgown. Like pink 
or a light pink or yellow and it's kind of got like this almost cut out detail going across the chest area but yeah something like an old woman would wear I then start seeing a rusty pickup truck an old one it's red um, though in the pictures that I was given there might have been one there too so I can't take credit for that um, old metal debris in yard that's rusted I'm seeing I don't know if they're still there or if it's like something they had to clean up energetic imprints again um of the families that live there of the people of the land i'm seeing tree stumps and an axe and i also feel cold so the only thing i can think of is that they need wood so maybe they have a fireplace or a wood burning stove that they would need that in the first place that they would need the wood for i'm not sure Guys, let me know. Um, dryads in the woods, but also could be like the girls I was seeing, like the female beings. They're kind of like that kind of being. Oh, this is kind of funny. The old man, Earthbound Spirit, didn't like skunks and he had it out for skunks. <laughs> I don't know if skunks are very like popular in that area or maybe back then they were but every time he would see a skunk tch -tch, yeah you guys can put the pieces together he hated them and I heard don't use the bird feed don't use the bird feed because it tracks skunks <laughs> I don't know but anyway I started getting pain in like the sternum area Oh, I saw this E.T. looking thing and so the only thing I can say and I'll get to it later this E.T. thing is there for I want to say reconnaissance looking for information and learning things but yes E.T. there's an E.T or was an ET in the area um, and then back to the energetic imprints I'm seeing black horse carriages and it's reminding me of the Amish ones that I've seen in Lancaster so and I was seeing like a dirt trail so I'm wondering if like through there was a um, dirt road that people use to travel or, or maybe they used horses to plow land or help them farm. That's the only other thing I can think of. Um, specifically, I saw one of the side windows. It had like wood things around it and it looks rotted. And then Spirit was like, mm, needs fixed. <laughs> but also people have said that they've seen shadows go past that window. There's something about that window. Guys, is there something going on with that window that he shared? Okay, then I saw another Earthbound Spirit, but this one's female with dark hair. Her hair is like puffy and shoulder length. And it's kind of frizzy and it kind of puffs out. She looks pissed off. Very haggy-like too. It's like she has this... She has multiple forms. She shapeshifts. But when she's pissed, she turns into like this hag thing. And she's definitely descending. She is a descending earthbound spirit. I started seeing an airplane, like one of those old small ones that you would see on farms that some farmers would use. I don't know if they would use it to spray their crops. I don't know, but I was seeing like an old dinky airplane. Um, I don't know if there's one on the property or there was one on the property. Again, energetic imprints. I see the earthbound male spirit when he was alive, sitting down at the kitchen table reading a newspaper. And then my face starts to burn. Again, weird burning sensations. I don't get it. So I started seeing a dirt trench and I drew it. But this thing 
in the ground where the ground looks kind of separated. I don't know if it was made or if the ground kind of naturally separated on its own. It's more long than it is deep. But um, Spirit Guide said, hey, if you go out into the wooded area, be careful because these are ankle breakers. I've never heard of them refer to that, but ankle breakers and debris is concealing it. So be careful when you're walking around. And I drew it again. So here's my little drawing. I know it's 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 not a great drawing. Sorry. <laughs> um, they're also saying be careful of snakes, which anyone can be like, hey, there's woods, be careful of snakes, but Spirit specifically pointed that out. Um ba -doop, boop boop. Oh, I did see the earthbound, the male guy, fishing. I don't know if there's a body of water nearby, like a lake, or or if he just like fishing, but I saw him fishing, so I don't know if there's a large body of water near the property or location. I did see some fractal energies of like, so it's kind of like energetic imprints, and depending on the amount of energy that is released can create fractals. It's not like a full-blown spirit. It's just pieces of energy left behind from very energetic things. So I kept seeing that toddler again. Fractals of energy, not conscious or actively transforming into anything darker. They're just there drifting. Oh, portals and broken down energy grids. That ET contributed to that by the way, and energetic imprints in residual energy also contributes to the portals and warped energy grids of the property and the house. I saw the dark haired woman, earthbound spirit laying in bed, and then she turned into this dark smoky thing. It was weird. So I see her laying in bed and she's like, her head is like this, leaning to the side, and it's like, Ugh. And then all of a sudden I see like this smoky um, entity fly out of her body. So I don't know if it's her or like if she passed away in that house, um, if that was her or again, an attachment leaving her body. I don't know. I just know that's all I can describe. That's what I saw. And this thing had a creepy face. And it, and it was also hag-like. Okay, now to CJ. CJ himself. I wasn't gonna go into attachments and things specifically. However, Spirit uh, directed me that way. So I guess here we are. So there is a parasitic attachment to him. So CJ, if you are watching, uh, yeah. It is very oceanic-like, and it is a type of thought form, and it came to you through a negative action and or behavior, like maybe addiction, or you've been around people with the addiction thing, and it saw your light and was like, ooh, food, and it's tethered to trauma, so, you know, trauma can be anything. It can be even things that are perceived as trauma. Um, I kept getting addiction. Like, an addiction... I don't know whose addiction it is, if it was his or down this family line or friends. But Spirit said he specifically has to break that cycle. So I'm suspecting that it is family... In the family line, he has to do something with addiction, not as break the cycle. I also found it interesting that the earthbound spirit in the location, again, had an addiction himself to, again, I think alcohol. And like I said, that type of energy drew in CJ because he's familiar to that type of energy. And 
the negative entities drew him to that farm and he is meant to break that cycle part of why he's there is to break that cycle even though those negative entities had not so good intentions those negative entities wanted to bring out that problem in CJ so it would create a negative reaction and create negative energy for them to feed off of however it's going to backfire on them so CJ are you having nightmares because that specifically came out to me or even just like if things are going on at nighttime that are uncomfortable for you psychic attacks so that could come in the form of headaches dizziness or other forms of health issues or um just weird feelings i'm wondering though if the burning might be part of an a part of a psychic attack again not sure um oh the attachment of cj was also invited from not having proper boundaries and protection methods set up and false ideologies for whatever reason Anton LaVey's name kept popping up and I don't know why and I don't know if CJ you know does a lot of research into him or follows any of his ideologies I don't know I'm not gonna state that for certain all I can say is Anton LaVey's name popped up and I don't know why but also he has CJ has a misperception of things spiritual. Not quite sure what it is unless I watch his content. And guys, I'm thinking of revisiting everybody after watching everyone's content and seeing if I pick up any more information and things to add on. So I will be doing this with CJ as well later on, but I just wanted to point that out. But the entities in this space are not demons. So if he thinks that they're demonic, they're not demons, you have a descended earthbound spirit that, if not crossed over, if not, you know, taken care of, could become a demon in the future, but that would take a very long time. But specifically, there are no demons. Um, CJ, do you have an issue with plants? Do plants die around you? Or are you noticing the land at this farm isn't fertile? If so, it's because they are taking the hit from negative energy. And if it's plants dying, like from ones that you've had, it's because they're taking that hit for you to protect you. You're supposed to go through a spiritual awakening. Um, your chakra and third eye are becoming active. So with that being said, you might notice more paranormal activity. You might notice some things you might not have noticed before. You might catch more shadows and pick up um, noises, sounds, voices, seeing things, I'm trying to say, or um, knowing information without knowing any like background information. Like you just have that gut instinct. And or you might feel energies. So be aware of those kinds of things because you are awakening. Your root chakra is blocked. And having the negative like energy within that house isn't gonna help it. The um those benevolent beings that are taking care of nature will help you. You can go out again watch for the ankle breakers um you can go out and ground yourself there in the woods and they will help you with that so they wanted to point that out and cj for your um your attachment if you're feeling drained and sleepy and or having health issues um it's because of partially it's because of the attachment however i will say this through what I see in your lifetime, that attachment is going to become detached and it won't be an issue once you ascend and you awaken. 
um, you're going to be able to take care of those things yourself. But to get the ball rolling, you know, working through traumas, um, understanding if you have any traumas, and I mean, if I were you, I'd cleanse your space. Though, if you're getting content from that haunted farm, you might not want to. It is up to you. I'm just saying, like, if you were going to live there, I would cleanse it. But if you're using it for paranormal research, then, you know, ball is in your court. You do what you want to do. But those earthbound spirits need to be crossed over. And for the nightmares, and if you're having issues sleeping, you can use holy oil. You can use, you know, black tourmaline or a black obsidian. Um, clear quartz. I would wear the black obsidian or black tourmaline on you, on your person, as a necklace or bracelet. And then have something under your mattress, like black tourmaline or black obsidian. Make sure, you know, you routinely charge them in the moonlight if you want. Um, or you can bury them in the ground for a week. And then just make sure you have things to rotate. But that'll help build that barrier when you're sleeping. If, you know, again, sleeping is a problem. Um, guys, I have, down below, I have an Amazon link. I am featured on Amazon. And I have created, like, collections of things where you can buy, like whatever you want. I do get commissioned, so I will say that, but I have like a protection collection that you can buy from. Um, I highly recommend. I put the holy oils and the sage spray and the Palo Santo stuff in there. Um, you can use, honestly, I have been digging the holy oils lately and I put them on my chakras and you can do that too before bed with your crystal situation. That should help you from getting any attacks while you're sleeping and or during the day. Again, don't forget to charge any and all crystals that you use. I'm trying to think what else. If you want to cleanse your space, like that farm or just your space at home, you can do the sage and Palo Santo wood. You know, make sure you do both because if you don't, you'll take out the energy and anything can fill it back up even negative energy so make sure you do those two um people like to use frankincense and other things again i'll have it down in that amazon link there of protection things you can use you can use sage spray palo santo spray all that stuff um also you can reach out to me if you need help cj if you are serious about like getting rid of that attachment I can help you privately if you want DM me on Instagram um, yes so guys how did I do <laughs> thank you so much for watching CJ hopefully I answered some questions yeah there's a lot of stuff going on in the farm you have some good you have some bad but most of the activity is from the negative earthbound spirits, the two, because they're trying to get the energy source. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all soon and peace out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be going through more paranormal creators and relaying messages to them. If you really like these types of videos, I recommend checking out the video I did for Colby Brock from Sam and Colby, where I relayed a similar message to him.